Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your hosts, Kirby King. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we're talking about The Amazing Spider-Man 700, The End of an Era. Yeah, it, 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 this should have been the end of um, that creative team trying to be creative. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You, you prob you've probably seen now on CNN how much this sucks. Yeah, it, it, that's how big it was. I mean, my parents who don't do comic books were, were mad about this <laughs> yeah. about this issue. I mean, you know, it didn't go out with a bang. It went out with a whimper. It was just bad. My son, who loves Spider-Man, loves Spider-Man. He's six years old. Loves Spider-Man. I'll never tell him this happened. Because we all know that Marvel's going to discover this was a horrible idea, and in about six to twelve issues, it'll be done. It'll be undone. Yeah, we'll get Amazing Spider-Man number one, restarting a fifty-year run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The 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 idea of replacing Peter Parker's brain with Doc Ock's brain is okay for a story arc. Yeah, but spoiler alert. Okay, first of all, we're going to argue the codes right now. If you have not read it. There's going to be two Amazing Spider-Man 700s and two Indestructible Hulk. And Indestructible Hulk was awesome. Uh, okay. It's been awesome the whole way. Unlike the last Spider arc. Man, yes. a, <laughs> it, yeah. was, it was bad. So here are the codes. Enjoy them. Now, if you have not read it yet. <laughs> Stop now. Pause it, go read it, and come back, and then share it in our rage. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doc, Doc Hawk wins. Let's just, let's just put it out there. He wins. Yeah, the villain actually wins, like, and not like for a little bit. He won the whole, He won like the whole issue, though. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even like you know it was close. Every time Peter had something planned, Doc Ock cut him off. No, he won the book. He won the book called Amazing Spider-Man, <laughs> the one that started fifty years ago. He won the the whole thing, and now he's got the younger, more awesome, more powerful body of Peter Parker. Uh huh. His girlfriend, who, who, who does not know MJ, does not know. Nor does his family. Nope. So I figure Aunt May will probably notice. Hopefully, eventually, she's right now. She's all tied up in in well, uh, yeah Jonah's. But they're they're, they're 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 starting to to realize it because he's he's saying things that Peter would never say. He's acting ways he he'd never act. So yeah, but girls like bad boys. So I know he he was being a total jerk and she kissed him. Yeah, she's like, oh wow, yeah. Let me just be with this guy now because yeah, he's, he's, he's a jerk like, now. Leave me alone, woman. And she goes, oh my god, I'm in love with you. <laughs> Literally, I mean, Stupid. read the book. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. But yeah, so he he, he wins. Um, now at the end, the way he sort of didn't win completely is Peter made him remember all the memories that made him Spider Man, which apparently made Doc Ock good. No, it made him a whimpering, quivering mass of Jello for about five seconds, yeah. and then he goes, "Okay, I'm going to be Spider Man, but I'll be better than you. I'll be a superior Spider Man." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Can you um, tell we don't like this? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it was so horrid. You know, and you you gave me spoilers. Mm. And I still wasn't prepared for this. Mm. It was horrible. Yeah. I mean, you don't understand. I mean, okay. Spider-Man uh, well, Doc Ock as Spider-Man takes all of Peter's loved ones and says, you know, I'm I'm holding them I'm keeping them safe. You know, he's got them hostage. Whatever. So Peter goes, "Okay, I'm going to figure this out. And every single plan he's had. Now, the, the guy who's been thwarting this same guy for 50 years. Every plan he came up with, beat. All yeah. of them. All of them. Nothing he came up with worked. So, basically, they're saying is Doc Ock is smarter than Peter Parker. In the last five seconds of his life. Yeah, I, th I think Peter was so clouded by the whole dying thing that he couldn't think clearly. But he got to meet... Uh, Uncle Ben and Captain Stacy. Spider Man. Oh well, yeah, but no, no one cares about. No, it's well, people care about Captain. Spider Man Stacey. is all about Uncle Ben. People care about Captain Stacy and, and Gwen Stacy. He kept shooting off the hand of the Lizard Man. <laughs> this is true. He's like, hey, your head's frozen. Let me shoot your hand. Boom, boom. For those of you who saw the Amazing Spider Man movie, Which and all review about it, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, and and <laughs> if you don't. Go watch if it. you ever see a giant lizard guy and you've got a shotgun in your hand, shoot him in the head. Mm -hmm. Just say. Especially if he's frozen. Stupid. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you have to meet all the people that, that have died and you know he wanted to stay there, but they're like, no, you can't stay here. 
And then he got the Spider-Man outfit out of nowhere because that just happens when you're dead. Mm -hmm. And then he came back to life. And then he lost and died. Now, <laughs> when, when, when you listen to us on Krypton Radio, and you should really listen to us on Krypton Radio. Thursdays at 7 o'clock. Because we are going to get into some of the reasons why maybe Peter really isn't dead. Yes. Uh, we talked to uh, Brainy from Enjoy, our show sponsor, about ways out. And he had five really good ones that yeah. at least four of them I had not thought of. <laughs> uh, a couple of them I thought of after I read it. Now, at the yeah. time, at the time, I hadn't read the book, mm -hmm. so to a certain degree, I might have only been thinking of that because he said it. Right. Yeah. So I, you know, I can't, I can't claim those, but I thought of every one of them. Of course, yeah. <laughs> now, you know, if you want to buy the book physically, it's a uh, eight dollars. Um, it's a pretty expensive book because it's what like a triple issue. Basically, yeah. there's a lot of pages in it, and then at the end, there's actually another Spider-Man story. Yeah, and it, I didn't actually read the ones that I, I skimmed through it. I didn't read it. They at were all. very. I, I looked at it. The art was horrible. I, the, I just the art was stuff. bad. The story was terrible. It was just. I mean, if you want people to read that, you need to have that before the part where you kill Peter Parker and replace him with Doc Ock. Because after that part, I really didn't feel like reading anymore. Mm -hmm. And basically, <laughs> um, this book will be worth a whole lot of money for about a year and then it's gonna suck mm -hmm. because Peter will be back and then that'll, it'll be like the death of Superman where the death of Superman when Superman died for about six months that book was worth about 150 bucks mm. then Superman came back now you can get it for 15 yeah because now people are like well he's back so it's not so, yeah and now not only that it's not even that Superman anymore <laughs> yeah, so, exactly so it's, <laughs> so it's probably free they probably give it away <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you know like if you bought this book um, so, hold no. it for about five months and then sell get it. rid of it so immediately <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't buy this book hopefully you're lucky enough to get one of the free codes yeah otherwise you're really not just let somebody anything. tell you about it yeah you're not missing anything it was Peter Parker loses it was bad it's over yeah it's 50 years just down the drain on his 50th anniversary yeah oh and, and Spider-Man gets one one more good hero pose but it's Doc Ock yeah yeah so we have no Peter Parker in either Ultimate or 616. Yeah, but we like Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, because he's black. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's that's how we feel about the whole Spider-Man thing. And just when we were beginning to like him, too. Yeah, we <laughs> we developed some respect for he the guy. We started liking him. We're like, let's kill him all. That's the best way to end his... Uh, 50th anniversary. Finally year. became a scientist instead of just being a running around being a photographer. Yeah. The year of the spider's over, he got crushed by the octopus. Big time. Yeah. So uh, check us out every Thursday at 7 p.m. on Krypton Radio. Um, Especially we'll, for this one. Yeah, this one we're going to vent a lot. So, and of course, talk about some other things as well. Um, make sure you like, favorite, subscribe, follow us. Everything is offshootcomics.com. Yeah. So read Twitter, our blogs. Twitter, Facebook. Take a, look at our new, com. <laughs> take a look at our new characters. Leave us a message. Yeah. And check out, you know, stuff about our new comic book series that are coming out at WonderCon. We have pages starting to come in, so we're pretty excited about that. So. Yeah. This, this, this is going to be the year of offshoot comics. Yep. And not this one, because this one's about over. Yeah. Yeah. But unlike Spider-Man, we will not be crushed by an octopus. We're going to win. Just so. like a Korean barbecue. Oh, yes. Korean barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, until then... We've been your hosts, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Spider-Man was terrible. It was. It was terrible. So bad. <laughs>